So I'm developing a theory. You know how Phil Jackson used to press psychological buttons with his team, do different things, give them books, come in there with incense, all kinds of stories being told of how he pinned people against one another to get the best out of them and stuff like that. Just weird little stuff that he'd do psychologically. I believe what we've just seen is Magic Johnson do that very thing to us, the front office, particularly the Los Angeles Lakers front office, and to the fans, by uh, pressing the right button. That whole going on ESPN, blowing the whole spot up the same day they're supposed to be introducing the coach, telling basically their dirty laundry and then proceeding to challenge them to change their ways. Do y'all realize that everything the Lakers have done since has been golden? Now, some may say, well, that's because Magic left and he was the biggest problem. That's on on its surface stands to reason. But what I saw was a front office get their shit together rather quickly And everything started to fall in line for a team that needed a change of fortune. And that fortune literally changed the day that he decided to uh, resign from the position of, of president of basketball operations for the Lakers. So I say to you all that this was a deliberate plan to cultivate others and, and, and challenge others through really, really, really foreign strange or what's the word uh, uh abstract tactics that's what i believe just took place here he just he just he just pressed some psychological buttons and got guys uh to not only get their stuff together in the front office but also shine a light on the fact that the front office needs to get their stuff together and they did um it's just a theory i could be wrong I don't know that I don't believe that Magic was lying about anything that happened, but I think the fact that he went on television and told everything that happened, and then from there, guys just started making deals and striking deals and responding. I look at Magic Johnson and who he was as a basketball player. I look at the success that he had as a businessman, as a baseball owner. Um, The one thing that he was always able to do as a personality, even, was just delegate people with with amazing. Uh, uh, passes and the passes wouldn't always just be with the basketball but it would be in acknowledging them in conversation or making sure that they felt like they were included in whatever was going on uh, if he was doing something on TV this is something that I've watched him do it's not just it's not just about smiling and, and making yourself likable but he gives people credit he makes it a point to give people credit even when he's chastising them like he did with Rob Palenka he gives them credit. He makes sure that he gives you the ball. He puts you in positions to, to, to succeed. That expands beyond the basketball court, and he does it in such an amazing way, just like he did with the basketball, that it can bring about results that are uh, uh, phenomenal. This dude is a genius of the highest order, <laughs> and he showed it in not only what he was able to do with his mechanics basketball-wise, but when he was asked to do certain things on the court, like play center in game seven or, or uh, and score 40 something points ridiculous amount of rebounds he's a point guard this was the biggest game any person could ever play in this is the, the the best the nba has to offer his center the greatest center maybe of all time kareem abdul jabbar had gotten an injury he was out and this dude was a rookie what magic did would be considered impossible and he did it, and he won a championship because of it in his rookie season. That kind of thing is beyond basketball, man. <laughs> like, to me, when a person displays that type of will and that type of, of execution, like, I just have a hard time doubting them in other areas. I have a hard time doubting that type of talent. Like, that's just me. Me. I look at a person like that, I say, if he could do that, what else can he do? And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what, what uh, Dr. Buss said. <laughs> and he proceeded to uh, teach Magic everything that he could about business. And, and as a result, I think Magic Johnson is one of the most successful sports turn uh, businessmen, sports athletes turned businessmen that we've ever uh, seen. So now that I see him in this position and, and all this has happened, I look at the timing of it all. I look at how it looked, how it's structured in terms of what he said who he said it to, when he chose to to make sure that it was said, all of those things just look just timed to me. 
and I'm thinking to myself, I look at the how cerebral the minds in charge actually are there. LeBron James and Magic Johnson, they're so f incredibly cerebral and so incredibly great at what they're great at. To I, I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know, this looks like it was planned. Like this was like, basically Clutch had things in place, Magic's team had things in place and they're executing that plan. And, it, and it's just, it's phenomenal to watch. If the Lakers do indeed pull off Kawhi Leonard or Kyrie Irving or even Jimmy Butler at this point because I hear he wants to be here too or Klay Thompson who's considering us if for some reason the Golden State Warriors don't do what we know they will which is going to pay him all his money, $190 million. Um, Guys are looking at us like, yo, we want to go there. And something else I want to throw into this video even though it has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Teams have to do a better job of treating their former players right um, and this is this should be a, a separate video but that's something I, that needs to be discussed I will make that a separate video but that's just something I'll hint at right here teams need to do a better job of treating their former players better yeah but anyway Magic Johnson is a genius thank you for pressing those buttons thank you for outing all that stuff that you outed it brought the best out of rob <laughs> it, bet the, it brought the best out of genie it brought the best out of all these guys and they uh they've put themselves in a position to not only win a championship this year but to win multiple championships going forward and that's that's three months removed from being a laughing stock the biggest disaster in the league um uh, i'm i'm I've, i haven't seen a turnaround this spectacular uh in sports not not like this. This is crazy. Um, and, and I just look at Magic Johnson and I say, man, he 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 did this. Between him and Clutch, of course, I got to give Clutch all the all the respect and support because they they pushed buttons to ensure that AD was a Laker. Uh, and the means of getting him here was was a hell of a, a way of doing it. But they got it here. They got it going, and you got to give them that credit, man. Those guys are special. So. Yeah, man. Got to give got to give credit where it's due, and that's that's the end of this video. I hope you all are having a great um, time, whatever you're watching this, and uh, go Lakers.